Alrighty, today we're going to be talking about the K40 laser and some tips on how to get some better results out of it. Uh, I've been doing laser cutting for about six months with this machine. I've cut hundreds and hundreds of items and I have a couple of tips here to help you get some better results out of your laser depending on what kind of look you're going Alright, for. for today's cuttings what we're going to do is we're going to use this super sharp snowflake design. It's got some sharp edges there that get real close to the limits of what these lasers are capable of doing. Um, we're going to see how well it turns out when we have our three different approaches. And then we'll put them together and you can judge for yourself head to head which one produces the look that you're looking for. Alright, in this test we're going to be using 1 8 inch thick Baltic birch plywood. This is the same material that I see a lot of guys using on their videos. And uh, this is the material I use for most of my projects and my laser cutout shapes. So we're going to do this in one pass. I've got the laser set for full power at 8 millimeters a second. And that is my standard cutting speed. Alright, for this next one we are going to use an air compressor and we're going to blow that smoke away. The air compressor we're using is this uh, one fifth horsepower airbrush air compressor. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight. This one's working pretty good. Go ahead and just turn that on. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. We're going to use blue painter's tape to see if we can't protect the wood a little bit from any smoke damage. Now the laser is going to have no problem punching right through that tape. So it's not going to add to any of our, uh, any of our cut times. We're not going to need to hit it twice or For this or cut we're going to leave the air compressor on as well. So we're going to be vacuuming away the smoke. We're going to be blowing it away from the tip. And we're going to be protecting the wood surface from any uh, residual smoke. So here's the results. As we can see here, this was the first one that we did with no assistance. This is the second one we did that had the air assist turned on. And this is the third one we did with the air assist and more importantly the uh, blue painter's tape to protect the finish. Now, I'm a little shocked by the results. I kind of, uh, I thought the air assist would actually prevent some of this uh, of the smoky look but what it did do is it made it nice and even i think it was blowing the smoke out of the channel allowing the laser to hit that smoke even a little bit more and turning it into a little bit of that uh, smoky look that uh, smoke staining there's still some of that on the first one you can see here in the corners and we had a little bit of fire on a couple of these spots you noticed earlier on in the videos but uh all in all it turned out pretty good now the detail is great. I love the detail of this, uh, but we do have a little bit of that smoke and you can see on the back here, the back's clean, 
The back of the uh, air assist one is a little bit cleaner, but if you're going for a clean finish, then obviously protecting it with blue painter's tape is the way to go. There's absolutely no smoke. There's no staining, front or back. The only staining you can see is right here where we, uh, where we weren't actually on the, the tape there. So you can see how that actually, the difference between a, a clean and with a little bit of smoke staining. So, hope that uh, clears a couple things up. Helps you guys out, helps you get some better results with UK40 lasers. Uh, until next time.